Hello everybody who's watching, um, we are the team behind Window, uh, our new digital show that is going up on several, several platforms come next Monday 8th June. Uh, we just wanted to do a quick kind of get to know us and discuss this idea of digital theatre while we're together and we thought it might be nice to open up this discussion to all of our viewers who might be interested to hear what uh, a show run on Zoom is like. So, uh, let me first introduce our amazing team. I'm Lara, I am the writer and co-director and half of our fabulous tech team here at Window. Uh, go ahead, girls. I am Daniela, I'm the other half of the tech team. Um, <laughs> go ahead. I'm Emily, I play Zula. Yeah, and um, and Lee, I'm playing Zadie. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. We've just finished recording a run that we were, we're going to be editing and putting up for all of you lovely people next Monday. But I wanted to ask our team a few questions. So let me get my notebook in for a second. So, <laughs> I guess question one. How was it working on Zoom? How did you find this experience? Can I take this question like the first <laughs> bit? Oh my Go, head. run. I'll be so, in the Zoom, corner in the meantime. <laughs> Zoom is where you get your toolbox, right? And you chuck it out of the window and buy a new one that you invent. It's fun and creative. <laughs> it's true though. You don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> no, um, in all seriousness, it's been a journey. Um, so sort of we had a couple of issues when it comes to connectivity and everything, which I'm sure Laura and Daniela can explain way more than me, because I've just been the actress. So thankfully, all I have to do is wait for the amazing tech to figure out what they have to do, and I'm there. But um, what was interesting was that I could see myself through Zoom as an actress. So I actually had the screen in front of me and I, I could see my reaction, which sometimes helps me because um, I sort of knew what the audience was seeing, which, which in a way helps me see how much I should gauge my reaction to is it higher, lower, what's, what's my energy like. But sometimes it got a bit tricky when I was, the, um, there's a bit where I play with some objects um, and that was a bit tricky because I kind of wanted to look at my objects, but at the same time, I wanted to make sure that they are showing on screen. So that was like, okay, so I need to be technical, but also I need to look like I'm having fun. But yes, it's it was a journey. I'll say that much. I now have a new toolkit. Ta da! <laughs> Evan, working on Zoom was, I think, for, for any artist who stand their, their um, attention to online performing. It's not something that most of us, I think, ever did before. So we're all learning this new tool together. Um, and something that's used for meetings and, and stuff like that. And now you're using it for a show. So you're playing around with the features that are usually the boring features and you're trying to make them into an artistic device, if that makes sense, to highlight what the story needs to say. So it was, I, I, I mean, clearly Zoom is not going to like me. I'm not doing such a good marketing for it. Um, <laughs> you're turning the, the boring tool into a performing one. And I think that's where the, the balance and the creativity need to come in. And as tiring as it was trying to work with Zoom, I think I can now say like, I can work Zoom I'm just going to say perfectly, but I think really well. <laughs> I found well, it very weird and different. <laughs> um, like I was using Zoom for lectures before, and now all of a sudden I'm like performing. It's it's odd. <laughs> and like Annalise said, it's I found it a bit helpful, like that you can see yourself. Like especially for when I had to play Zula, it helped me like reach the right energy levels. And it helped me like realize like where I'm going wrong on like how to like do better, how to fix it and stuff. It was quite an experience. And from 
me taking the show once, I can say I never want to take another Zoom show ever again. <laughs> like that's it. it's difficult. It's hard. I don't know how Lauren Daniela managed so many times. Ending love. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think from my end, it was more, um, so originally the show, this show is part of um, Studio 18's Post Out, which is, which was meant to be kind of um, a showcase type thing where we as Creative Lab members join up with uh, people from Actors Project like Emily and anyone else we wanted, like Daniela from Mentorship, and create a piece. And the idea is to work on pieces together, get things out there, try things out. So originally this was meant to be an object theatre piece with projections, but obviously thanks to the current pandemic that had to be switched over. And it's interesting because when I started rewriting it, um, I kind of automatically went for a film script type writing style because in my head, if it's digital, then it's film. So that's been one of the things I've been working through as a creative is what is digital theatre and how different is it from film? So acting for film, um, you have certain tools like close-ups, um, pan shots. I can direct the audience attention far easier than I can on Zoom because you're kind of looking at whatever is in our rooms, whatever is behind us. So that's been an experience. And of course, for us, it's also been interesting in terms of trying to, me and Daniela are trying to co-direct through a digital lens, not in the space. And um, one of the things like, I'm looking at my notebook, <laughs> one of the things. Hi, editing Laura here. We may have gone on for a bit too long. So to save you from sheer boredom, I'm gonna split this interview into three different segments. So come back tomorrow to see exactly what we're gonna say next. <laughs>